distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm absolutely delighted to speak here at Unconvention. Ladies and gentlemen, in India, agriculture is one of the most important sectors in the context of the economy. Accounting for about 16% of the GDP, the sector provides employment to close to 43% of the workforce and accounts for 12% of India's exports. India's food security is also intricately linked to the sector. During the pandemic, the agriculture sector played a critical role in cushioning India's economy growth, growing by about 3% in both quarter one and quarter two of 2021. The agriculture sector will be playing a critical role in helping India become a $5 trillion economy. However, to achieve this goal, in addition to doubling farmers' income, we have to focus on increasing farm production and productivity. This cannot be done without leveraging the latest technologies and innovations. India's agri-tech and agri-business startups are going to play an important role in making this happen. Technology has played a key role in contributing to India's resilience during the pandemic. It was leveraged to ensure continuity of a wide range of activities, right from the func functioning of supply chains to enabling the new paradigm of remote working. COVID-19 has proven that technology can indeed be adopted within a short period of time and can create tremendous impact. This has proven that some of the traditional barriers to entry are no longer deterrents. In the context of agri-tech, there have been historical barriers to adoption, primarily linked to poor internet penetration and technology use. But the scenario has now changed completely. India now has close to 700 million internet users and has some of the cheapest data rates in the world. These numbers are only on the rise. We also have the highest proliferation with respect to the use of smartphone devices. It has never been easier to reach farmers in rural India. The Digital India initiatives are not only ensuring critical service delivery and infrastructure development, but are also creating greater awareness with respect to technology use at the rural level. There have also been a series of government reforms and initiatives through which the government has striven to create an enabling ecosystem for agri startups, such as the Atmanirva Bharat Abhiyan, the Farmers Produce Trade and Commerce Facilitation Act, Farmers Empowerment and Protection Agreement on Price Assurance, Essential Commodities Act, simplifying and streamlining processes for starting a company and improving the ease of doing business, and the new guidelines for acquiring and disseminating geospatial data to make maps and relevant data accessible. The recent opening up of geospatial data has special significance for the agri-tech startups and is bound to open up new opportunities for growth. Agri-tech companies are already transforming and disrupting all aspects of the agricultural value chain through the use of various tools and technologies, namely artificial intelligence, data analytics, drones, robotics, mechanization, and digitization. While the total addressable market represents a $25 billion opportunity, the current market size represents only 1% of the total opportunity. This low market penetration implies that there is space for Indian agri-tech startups to flourish, grow, and expand. This growth in turn will deliver the necessary boost to both the agriculture sector and the Indian economy at large. While some challenges exist, there are th these can be overcome with appropriate investment support, robust R&D efforts, and the enabling regulatory framework. The key for unlocking the potential of the sector is the establishment of strong engagements with FPOs and farmers. Building trust, developing capacity, and improving the lives of farmers will automatically drive the impetus for on-ground adoption by farmers. But this will also require greater synergies between the startups, investors, academia, and the farmers. This is why building cross-cutting platforms is the need of the hour. I would like to commend the Nudge Foundation and Cisco for putting together the Cisco Agri-Agriculture uh, Challenge Platform. Such platforms are instrumental in building critical linkages in the ecosystem, bringing together agri-tech startups, investors, namely Omnivo, Bharat Innovation Fund, Mentera, Ankur, etc., and leading academic institutions like universities like Purdue, IIM, Bangalore, Irma, Wagenhain, if Netherlands. Together, 
I hope the platform will continue to serve as a nucleus for growing and scaling agri-tech initiatives in India. The success and growth of such platforms are critical for growing and supporting the agri-tech ecosystem. Developing this ecosystem will directly benefit farmers and serve as a significant nation-building undertaking. I would close by conveying my best wishes to all the startups and organizations present. Your journeys are linked to the nation's journey, and I'm sure that all of you will grow and prosper as the nation grows and prospers. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.